Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Kennedy Holland. And I'm Georgia Richards. This is the Washita News. To begin off the show today, Josh Ingold has the latest on the weather that seems to be a little bit all over the place. Josh, what can we expect this week? Well, everyone, today is a rainy day, as you can see here. We're seeing some storms coming through. As of this recording at this very time, it is actually lightly coming down. That's going to continue throughout the rest of the day. And thankfully, we'll clear out in time for Thursday when we will actually start seeing some sun once again. With that, though, we're going to be seeing temperatures start to decrease. You can see here our low of 29. We're below freezing again. That is going to last for most of the rest of the week and will eventually bring on some storms actually starting Monday. And this rain is going to last pretty much throughout the rest of that week and will continue into Valentine's Day. So um, keep that in mind, everyone. You know, if you've got that special someone, you may want to be planning something inside, not outside. But that rain will continue throughout the rest of the week. But We'll cover that in more depth next time on the new show, so make sure to come back so you can get more information on that. Guys, numbers provided by AccuWeather, back to the desk. This week is Christian Focus Week, which features a variety of activities and speakers, all of which are focusing on the theme, God's Unexpected Ways. Students have had the opportunity to attend breakout sessions, worship and art, coffee and dessert, conversations, and so much more. James Taylor and the Campus Ministries team lead this week each year, and campus loves it. While it might feel far away, Tiger Tunes is just around the corner. The Washita Student Foundation is gearing up for Tiger Tunes 2023 by having the host and hostess auditions this weekend. Anyone at Washita can audition, and the process includes a dance tryout, on-the-spot a cappella portion, and a prepared solo audition. We look forward to seeing who will be our 2023 hosts and hostesses. Tiger sports have been going strong this week. Despite the weather last week, Chloe Bellman is the studio with our Roar Rundown. Chloe? Welcome to the Roar Rundown. I'm Chloe Bellman. The Tigers had an exciting weekend starting with our baseball team as they wrapped up their season opening weekend on Sunday with a 10-3 win at home over Roger State University. The Tigers went into double digits in the run and hit categories for the first time this season, crossing the plate 10 times on 13 hits. Four Tigers had multi-hit games led by Michael Quinones with a 4 for 5 3 RBI performance. White Core went 3 for 4 with 2 RBI. C.W. Schrader went 2 for 2 with 2 walks. And Jackson Chaney went 2 for 4, including a two-run home run that put his team up 6 to 3 in the sixth inning. The Tigers will continue their nine-game homestand this Thursday through Sunday, February 9th through 12th, with games against four different teams at Rab Rogers Stadium. Just down the street, the Lady Tiger softball team dropped both of its games in the McGee Hawkins Invitational at Sully Anderson Field. The Tigers fell in the first game to Northeastern State by a score of 8-4 and then fell to Missouri Southern State 15-2 in six innings. In Game 1 versus Northeastern State, Jessalyn Ahrens went 2-3 for three at the plate with a run scored. Four Tigers recorded RBI in the game. Lacey Arnellis recorded her first home run of the season. In Game 2 versus Missouri Southern State, Lacey Ornelas hit her second home run of the season and day and recorded both RBI in the game. The Tigers will look to bounce back this weekend as they take on Williams Baptist University in a doubleheader Saturday at Sully Anderson Field. In men's basketball this week, the team dropped a defensive-minded game to nationally ranked Southern Nazarene 68-56 Sunday afternoon at Bill Vining Arena. It was a close game to start as Washita was initially trailing number 20, Southern Nazarene, by no more than four points for a majority of the first half. The Tigers tied it up at 12-12 with eight and a half minutes left in the period and tied it again at the 538 mark with a score of 18-18. Washita proceeded to take a lead on a three-pointer from Laquan Butler Jr. with 4.53 left. Washita ended the first half with a 14-2 run to give the Tigers an eight-point, 28-20 lead at the break after a defensive 20 minutes of basketball. The second half was back and forth, with the Tigers continuing to hold a small lead over the Crimson Storm. SNU tied the game on a pair of free throws with 14 minutes left in the game, but Washita took the lead back on a layup from Butler. The Storm took its first lead since the first half with 12 minutes to go and held it the rest of the way. Some well-timed three-pointers and 20-second half free throws, compared to seven for Washita, helped Southern Nazarene expand its lead and leave Arkadelphia with a 68-56 win. The team will play at Northwestern Oklahoma State tomorrow night. 
the women's basketball team also fell to number one Southern Nazarene this weekend with a final score of 83-60. to The Tigers trailed for the entire game but came within one point of the Crimson Storm after six straight points made it 47-46 in favor of SNU with 5.32 remaining in the third period. However, from that point, SNU held Washita scoreless until the 8-16 mark of the fourth period. In the meantime, the Crimson Storm had built a 17-point lead, its largest lead at the game at that point. SNU maintained its scoring pace and eventually got on top by as much as 24 points in the final minute. The Lady Tigers are headed to Alva to face off against Northwestern Oklahoma State this Thursday. Our women's tennis started the, off their 2023 spring season strong against Hendricks College and the University of the Ozarks with 9-0 wins over them respectively. The Tigers, currently 2-0, were able to use the entire roster in Saturday's wins with all nine players earning either a doubles win and or a singles win. The next women's tennis match will be February 11th against Arkansas Tech. Still talking tennis, our 14th ranked men's tennis team earned a 5-2 win on Saturday at home over Southwest Baptist University. After losing all three double matchups, the Tigers responded in singles with three wins in the first three positions and the match winner in sixth position with Ramon Strassman taking down SBU's Eilis Kelevi by a pair of 6-2 scores. Aaron Osman added an extra win in fifth position to finalize the scoring. Men's tennis will be back in action at home February 17th through the 19th. That's all for the Royal Rundown this week. For more information, tune into the Washtenaw Sports Digital Network broadcasts or visit obutigers.com. I'm Chloe Velleman. Back to you. Thank you, Chloe. Georgia, can you believe it's February? No, nope. Valentine's Day is next week and then spring break. There you go. Time is flying by, that's for sure. Well, that's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow Washita News on Instagram for day-to-day -day updates. Thanks, everyone, and have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next time.